The human race probably faces a greater risk of extinction today than any other time in recorded history. Before the development of modern technology, we faced a relatively low level of existential risk. But while our mastery of technology has increased our ability to protect ourselves against environmental dangers, it has also made us a much greater threat to our own survival. In the last century, we reached a critical phase in our development as a species, a stage where if we don't learn to manage our growing technical power, we are in danger of destroying ourselves. If we actually did let our civilization collapse, the few people remaining would find themselves trying to survive in a bleak world covered in abandoned cities and ancient monuments dedicated to times past. Over time, society will start to rebuild itself and stable communities will form. But would it lead to a reboot of the technological civilization that once was? Currently, our world is completely reliant on the use of fossil fuels. This fact alone is actually pretty hard to visualize as our dependence on fossil fuels is paramount. The most obvious uses are the petrol that fuels our cars or the coal that powers our houses. But nearly every material that makes up modern society uses fossil fuels in some way, whether it be the high thermal energy needed to smelt metal or the fact that a huge amount of chemicals derive from the diverse organic compounds found in crude oil. It is the limitation in the supply of thermal energy that would pose the biggest problem to a society trying to industrialize. For a chance at an industrialized society to even develop without fossil fuels, it could resort to renewable resources such as biomass, solar, or hydroelectricity. These sources could definitely cater for smaller populations, but would never be able to produce enough thermal energy for a society of the scale we have today. This swap to a renewable source would also lack the sources of hydrocarbons, which are vital components in many of the materials and chemicals we work with today. Currently, we are basically living at the penultimate point of life on planet Earth. There's just enough fossil fuels to get us to a point where we can swap to post-fossil fuel technology, such as fusion or fission. For the past 50 years, we have lived on the edge of nuclear apocalypse, and have avoided it only through the greatest of luck. Climate change has begun, but it has not reached civilization-busting levels, nor is it expected to reach those levels by the time we develop distance technology, such as nuclear fusion or artificial intelligence. In fact, we've begun outpacing our own extinction based on how rapidly our computer technology is advancing. We just need slightly more time to advance to the point of leaving these problems behind. A stretch of time with no interruptions. However, if we do get interrupted, and we do stumble, that's it, kaput. Earth dies a dead planet with only the marks of its previous inhabitants. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this content, you might enjoy our other videos, such as humanity's space debris problem, or looking back at the major stepping stones of human civilization. So do you think we will head down this self-destructive route? Or will we be able to escape such a fate? Leave a comment and let us know what you think. And until next time, Make sure to like and subscribe.